Hi there. We've been, um, we've been talking about this idea of two islands in a boat. We've looked at, um, at how we might explore something that's, that's going on in our lives that's, that's not somehow agreeable or fitting for us or, or our community, and also what that says about what it is that we would prefer. And we've looked at the idea that we might name what we prefer, look at its effects, then we might take a position on those effects and, and wonder why we might justify our position on that. Let's take a moment to think about the movement in between these things. Because we don't just, well sometimes we do, but we don't often just click from here to here. There's a sense of time. How long might that take? How long would we give ourselves for this project? It's a useful question to ask. Because, you know, it might take weeks or months or however long it takes. So I'm interested in asking, if we were having, if we had a project which had some sense of time, if we had a project of moving from here to here, firstly, what sorts of resources would help us get from here to here? What would we need? If I was moving from a style of parenting which I had inherited to a style of parenting which I wanted to take up in my own bat or, or together with my partner, what would I need? I might need to go and learn a whole, whole new stuff about parenting. I might need to talk to some people about how they parent. Mm. I might need to try some experiments with my children to see how this works and just to wonder, is that useful? There might be a whole, whole raft of things about people who might help me, ideas that might help me. There might be, I might need to go and buy toys or, uh, I don't know, stuff that helps with a different model of parenting. So a rigorous kind of conversation about what helps. How will I resource myself? Or how shall we resource ourselves? And equally, what might get in the way? The old way of doing parenting might reassert itself. Uh, um, I might come home tired or, or drunk or, or, you know, the, what might get in the way? The kids might not like it. The kids might not <laughs> like it. My partner might not like it. Yeah. Whatever. My mm. friends might not like it. My dad might not like it. Whatever. Mm. Um, things might get in the way. And again, we can think, what can we do about those things? How might we make their influence smaller and this influence stronger. What can we do to load the dice so that my desire to move from here to here has as much chance as possible? Now I've said that quite quickly, but that's quite an important conversation and might take quite some time. In fact, it might take several weeks. We might try stuff out, mm. go away and experiment with it, come back next week and wonder. And what we can do with this timeline down the bottom is we can say, here's where I was last week. You could say to somebody, well, where are you on this journey right now? And then the next time you see them, where would you put yourself on this journey now? And let's say they got to there. Well, question, how did you get there? What helped? Did anything get in the way? Equally, they might be back here. In which case, this is not failure. This is just the wind blew them back or, you know, inevitably things happen. So what happened here? What got in the way? How can we plan for it? So it's all cast as part of the project of moving forward. If, if people are a bit overwhelmed by this problem end of the picture, yeah, and, and we say, well, what's going to help the journey? Yeah, they may say, I don't know. That's why I'm here. Yeah, you know, I don't know yeah. what will help. Yeah. So where do you, where do you go then? Yeah, good. So that's a lovely question. So when you ask that question, it, it, am I right in guessing that when you ask that question, it's because you are you you want to go there, yeah. but you're just not quite sure how? Yeah. So perhaps the very first part of the resourcing that we need to get from here to here is to figure out how the hell do you do this? Mm. Who might we talk to about that? Where might we go to get that information? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decenter myself. Yeah. Um, oftentimes when people say they don't know, we often know more than we think we know. Mm -hmm. So I might mm -hmm. say, have you got any guesses about what right. might be helpful? Mm. Or have you got any kind of half ideas yeah. about what might yeah. be helpful? Yeah. Or has this ever happened even just in a tiny way? Lovely. And how did you manage to do that? Lovely. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice question, isn't it? Mm. Has this happened even just a little bit? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. And, we, and so the first part of this project might be going away and talking to who in your family could we talk to or mm. what might we read or what's yeah. YouTube got to tell us about this? Mm. Let's go away. Let's do some research. Let's come back together and we'll talk about what we Share discovered. Yeah. I'll do some stuff. You do some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to be careful not to position myself as the expert in this matter. Yep. Um, I think there is a place for expert knowledge, mm. but in this conversation, I'd rather it was somebody else who, mm. who took up that role. Sure. So that's a, that's a conversation about moving between the two islands.
Thank you.